last of a three-game series, and we're going to go to St. Petersburg, Florida, where Rock Kabatko from AssetSports.com School of Rock is joining us now. And Rock, give us a little update on Yunsu Kim. Yeah, well, he's avoided the disabled list, so that's the good news. He's going to accompany the team to New York after today's game. Now, if he's not able to play by Wednesday, that's when I'll have to make the decision to DL him. They can backdate him. They've been checking how many days have passed, how far they can go back. So he's got until Wednesday to be a player, as Buck called it. They put him through a lot of running drills this morning. They had him doing sprints. They had him running backward. They had him doing these short bursts going from first to second. They had him doing what you call butt kicks, and you could just picture what that looked like. <laughs> and the only problem he had was right at the end with the short burst. He felt just a little bit of discomfort. For Bucks, said there's a little thing there they still need to work out. But otherwise, they're encouraged. He said he's much better than he was when he tried to do all those things on Thursday. And, of course, keep in mind, he had that flight to Tampa, getting off a plane for the workout, and then tried to run. So that probably didn't do him any favor. So he's not on the DL. He's going to New York, and fingers stay, remain crossed that he will be able to play for them and not have to go on the DL. The Rock, between now and August the 1st, the trade deadline, there'll be plenty of rumors. What are you hearing right now about possibilities of the Orioles making any kind of a deal before the deadline? Well, you know, they're looking for starting pitching, and we know that. And the Rays have a couple guys who they don't know if they match up with or not. They, you know, they had interest in Pomerantz before he was dealt. But the thing that a lot of people are talking about, they're also looking for a left-handed reliever. And it seems like we talk about that every offseason and every year at the deadline. They're looking for another left-handed uh, bullpen arm. They've got, obviously, Zach Britton as the closer, but they want to pick find some kind of a lefty specialist. They're not sure if Donnie Hart's that guy, but they're going to give him a shot. They always like to look in-house first. But really, they are in the market for left-handed relief. And one of the interesting names is Eric O'Flaherty, who's in the Braves organization. He's rehabbing right now at AAA Gwinnett. He had a, a perfect outing, perfect ending, his uh, first outing there on rehab. And they're going to have to make a decision on him real soon, maybe by today. There's talk about them maybe looking to move him because they don't have room with their bullpen. I don't know if they've done that while I was waiting. I haven't checked Twitter in 10 minutes. But he's the guy the Orioles have always liked. So it's certainly worth thinking about because he's not going to really cost much. Uh, Eric Bimel was uh, uh, let go by the Royals. He's a veteran guy, but he's really not as good against lefties as O'Flaherty is. He held him to 215 average in his career. So he really fits the mold of a specialist. I know Buck likes him a lot. I just like the idea of having a clubhouse with O'Flaherty, O'Day, and Flaherty. So I'm really rooting for that acquisition if they can make it happen. But they do look, they are looking for a left-handed reliever. Rock, how about the latest on uh, Hunter Harvey? Yeah, Buck didn't have a lot to update there. I reported last night that he came out of the game with Aberdeen after only one and a third innings and 23 pitches. And I was told that he had soreness in his right flexor mass, which he's had in the past. That's always makes people nervous because a lot of times that, lead, that means elbow when you think Tommy John surgery, which he's been able to avoid up to this point. But he was shut down with it back in 14. And again, uh, later in the year, and of course, he had the sports hernia surgery uh, this year and every, or last year. And everything was fine with him. It looked like, uh, as far as the arm and everything, was just a sports hernia surgery early this year. Uh, and then all of a sudden, on this rehab assignment, it was his fifth game in the minors. He had been the Gulf Coast for two. It's his third with Aberdeen. All of a sudden, he's got that soreness in the forearm again. And Brian Graham, actually the director of player development, has been managing that club while Kevin Bradshaw was in the hospital for a few days with a back injury. He told Buck, you know, there was some soreness that they didn't like, so they got him out of there. Buck hopes it's only a precaution, but of course, the reality is if this is going to be something that continues to happen, and then you start worrying again about whether he'll need surgery or trying not to jump the gun here. But this is not the first time he's felt this. So we're hoping to get more of an update in the next few days. But definitely there's something there in that forearm, and that obviously can mean a problem with the elbow. Well, Rock, as always, we appreciate your inside look at the Orioles. We'll check you out on MassonSports.com. School of Rock, Rock Kabatka reporting from St. Petersburg.